What's up fam? This your boy Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to share this video. I got some news for you Negroes today. What the hell is going on with boxing right now? Ryan Garcia got knocked out in the seventh round by Javante Davis and now everybody is divided. If you was going for Javante Davis, you happy as hell right now. You giving post-fight analysis, you earned victory formation. Yeah, Javante Davis is the man. He set him up with the body shot, knocked him down. It was a well-fought victory. Now, if you was rooting for Ryan Garcia, you mad as hell right now. You full of excuses. Ryan Garcia came in at 130. Javante Davis will move up to 140. Ryan Garcia seemed like he was out of breath when he got knocked out. And what about this one? Ryan Garcia was dehydrated in this fight. This is boxing. Condition is part of the sport. So why are we making an exception for Ryan Garcia? He should get a rematch because he was dehydrated. Y'all sound crazy as hell. And I'm sitting back looking like, y'all don't see that this fight was scripted? Y'all can't tell that the knockout was fake? Now I get it. Javante Davis is a powerful puncher. Everybody always give him his props on that. He's powerful. He's smart. He got a lot of power. But the nigga is only 5'5". Five five. Ryan Garcia is 5'8". So when Javante Davis hit him with the body shot, he connected, but it wasn't clean. He like scraped his ribs. It wasn't powerful at all. And then Ryan Garcia stays on his feet for five seconds and then drops to a knee like he was supposed to. Like I think he got paid to do. See, Ryan Garcia is looking at it like this. I dropped to one knee. I throw in the towel because I know I'm going to get a rematch. The key to a rematch is boxing is to have the fans wanting more. And this fight proved just that. Ron Garcia took a shot to the rib, dropped to one knee, refused to get back up, and everybody has already said he deserves a rematch. See, that's why people don't take boxing fans serious. See, I'm looking at Ron Garcia like, damn, you supposed to be the man. Everybody talking about you gonna do this, you gonna do that. You take one punch to the rip cage, and now you on the ground refusing to get back up and fight. I thought boxing was part of a warrior. I'm no offense, I'm no boxer, I don't mean to disrespect the sport, but I feel like I can take that hit from Javante Davis. He 5'5", five five, I'm 5'10". Five Javante Davis, hit me right here. i take him for $2 million, and I'm going to get back up and go right back at you. That's how I feel about it. And that just proves that this whole punch was fake. And I'm going to prove it with this video. So I'm going to show you guys the video. We're going to break it down, and we're going to come back and talk about it. Let's go. Boom, so here you go. Javante Davis is in the body of Ryan Garcia setting him up for the body blow, watch this. Boom, see he hits him, he connected, but it wasn't clean, he like scraped it, he really missed. He missed more than he connected on that punch. Matter of fact, Ryan Garcia got a better shot than him on the punch. I'm just being real with you guys. So Ryan Garcia stays on his feet for another five to six seconds trying to defend himself and then he just drops to one knee and refuses to get back up. And I'm gonna show you guys that. Let's continue. Look, seven seconds, he just drops to one knee, refuses to get back up, puts his head down. Javante Davis starts celebrating. And then you got boxing fans talking about Oh, this was a good fight. They deserve a rematch. I'm ready for part two. And you know why people are talking like that? The fight was so underwhelming that people won't accept the ending. And that's the plan of boxing. In order to sell a rematch, you got to have the people want more. The first fight got to be so underwhelming that we want to say, it's ain't possibly how it's going to end. You mean to tell me Ryan Garcia is supposed to be great? Everybody's bragging on him. Everybody talking about he got fast jabs. He got hands the speed of lightning. And you take a punch from a five foot five dude and drops you to a knee and you refuse to get back up. I'm not accepting that. I think this is a money move. Because think about it. If I'm Ryan Garcia and I get paid to throw a fight, what is one condition you will throw a fight? Yeah, he can knock me out, but it ain't going to be your TKO. You ain't finna have me on the ground, ass in the air, laid out on my back. I get knocked out. You can pay me to get knocked out, drop to a knee. At least I do have some dignity. But I'm not getting all the way knocked out. So I think that's what happened. I think they came to Ryan Garcia. We're going to sell a second fight. We need you to go down on this fight. Because if we can sell the second fight off, Ryan Garcia was dehydrated. Ryan Garcia got the breath knocked out of him. Ryan Garcia is better than that. He's ready for Tank Javante Davis. He's been training. So I think they're going to make even more money off the second fight. Because when you look at the optics of the fight, he was just outclassed. Tank was outboxing the dude. 
He was smarter. He was setting up his punches better. He was quicker. He was faster. He had more movement going on in the ring. It seemed like Ryan Garcia was way in over his head. It seemed like once he got knocked down in the second round, he didn't know how to fight no more. It seemed like he was scared, right? So I'm looking at Ryan Garcia taking that knee, refusing to get back up. It kind of seemed like he gave up. It kind of seemed like he knew it was no hope. I can't beat this dude. This dude is just too good. He hit way too hard. That would have seemed look like to me. So I don't see why everybody making excuses for Ryan Garcia. I don't see why everybody want to see a rematch. I don't want to see a rematch of this. Ryan Garcia, you need to put more work in the gym. You need to get your resume back up because Tank is just too much for you. But yes, you will get a rematch because you got a lot of fans that are in denial. A lot of fans that don't see that this fight was thrown, that you was paid to do that. 